Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. This is our second lesson on solving systems of equations. And when you're done with it, you ought to understand at least the following things. You ought to know what a system of equations is. And you should know how to solve systems of equations in any of three ways. The first way we went over in the last lesson, that's solving the system by graphing. Today, we're going to cover solving the system of equations by substitution and solving by addition or subtraction. Well, what is a system of equations? Well, it, it sounds to me a system is going to probably have more than one equation in it. A system of equations is going to be at least two equations that relate to each other in some fashion. Well, let's use a word problem to help us understand a little bit more what a system of equations is. Tickets at the theater were $8 for adults and $4 for children. Last Saturday, 210 tickets were sold, and the total ticket sales were $1,440. How many adult tickets and how many children's tickets were sold? Well, we need to find a couple of equations inside this paragraph in order to have a system of equations. And to find those equations, I'm going to CUCC. I'm going to circle the numbers, and I'm going to underline the question. The numbers are 8, which is the price of an adult ticket, 4, the price of a children's ticket, 210, which was the total number of tickets sold, and $1,440, which was the total receipt for ticket sales. And we also underline the question, how many adult tickets and how many children's tickets were sold? There's really two questions there, aren't there? So we're going to need two variables. We're going to need a variable to represent the number of adult tickets and a variable to represent the number of children's tickets. Well now, we just have to put this information together in a couple of equations. And I can see that there's a couple of totals towards the end of the uh, paragraph. It says, last Saturday, 210 tickets were sold. A total of 210 tickets were sold. And those would have to be either adult tickets or children's tickets. So, the number of adult tickets plus the number of children's tickets would have to equal 210. A plus C equals 210. And I see another total. $1,440. That's the total receipts. That's the number of adult tickets times the price for each adult ticket plus the number of children tickets sold times the price for the children's tickets. So I can write that algebraically this way. $8 times the number of adult tickets plus $4 times the number of children's tickets equals $1,440. Well, now I have a system of equations. Well, now that we've got a system of equations, we're going to need to solve it. And there's three ways to solve a system of equations. In the last lesson, we covered the first way, which is to graph each of the two equations. And where they cross is the solution. If we were to graph these two equations, it would look just like this and they cross at 60, 150, telling us that they sold 150 adult tickets and 60 children's tickets. There's two other ways that we could solve this system of equations, and the first is to solve the system by substitution. Now what's that mean? Well, you can see that the problem in solving either of these equations is that there's two variables. There's an A variable and there's a C variable. And if we were to solve for A in either equation, 
our answer would have a C in it. And that's we don't want a, a variable in our answer. We want just numbers. So we got to find a way to get rid of at least one of the variables. And substitution is a method that we can use to get rid of one variable. Let's see how that works. Let's take that first equation. A plus C equals 210. I can write that differently. I can manipulate it algebraically. I can subtract C from both sides of the equation and if I do that the equation will read A equals 210 minus C. A equals 210 minus C. That means if I had A in the second equation, which I do, I could substitute 210 minus C for that A and everything would be the same because A equals 210 minus C. So I can substitute 210 minus C for A in the second equation. And when I do that, it's going to read 8 times, not A, but 210 minus C plus 4C equals 1440. Well, now you can see we've only got one variable, only a C. And if there's only one variable, we can solve for that variable. We need to simplify this expression. We'll first distribute that 8 to the 210 and the minus C, and it'll read 1680 minus 8C plus 4C equals 1440. Now I need to combine like terms, and then I need to subtract 1680 from both sides of the equation, and then I need to combine like terms again. And then I need to divide both sides of the equation by minus 4. And I'll come up with C equals 60. Well, now we know one of our two variables, but we don't know the other. How are we going to solve for the other? Well, here's how. We can take either of the two equations. Let's take A plus C equals 210. And we'll substitute for the C in this equation. We'll substitute 60 and it'll read A plus 60 equals 210. Now we can solve for A by subtracting 60 from both sides and we'll come up with A equals 150. Again, we've concluded that the theater sold 150 adult tickets and 60 child's tickets. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. We're asked to solve this system of equations using substitution. Now using substitution means we're going to solve one or the other of the equations for, for one of the variables and then we'll substitute that solution into the other equation and solve it again. And you're probably going to want to look at the two equations and figure out which would be easier to solve for a variable. When I look at these two equations, I can see a positive y there, and all my other variables have multiples of 2 or 3, which means I'm going to have to divide to get a single solution. So I'm going to use 2x plus y equals 12. And I'm going to solve that for y. And to do that, all I have to do is subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, and I get y equals 12 minus 2x. Now I'm going to take my other equation, 3x minus 2y equals 25. And into that equation, for the y, I'll substitute 12 minus 2x. And it'll read 3x minus 2 times 12 minus 2x equals 25. Now I just got to simplify the equation. I'll distribute the 2 to the uh, 12 minus 2x. And when I do that, I'm going to have to remember that I'm multiplying minus 2 times 12, so I'll get minus 24. And then minus 2 times minus 2, so I'll get positive 4x. So that'll read 3x minus 24 plus 4x equals 25. Now I'll combine like terms 
and I'll get, come up with 7x equals 49. I'll divide both sides of the equation by 7, and I'll get x equals 7. Well, I know x, but i got to figure out what y is. And to do that, I just substitute that x equals 7 into either one of the two equations. Again, I want to try to pick the equation that's going to be the easiest, that's going to involve the least amount of tricky math. So I'll pick that second equation, y equals 12 minus 2x. I'll replace the x with a 7, so it reads y equals 12 minus 2 times 7. And then I'll just do the math, and I'll come up with y equals minus 2. The solution to this system of equations is x equals 7, y equals minus 2. Well, let's go back to our movie theater problem. You remember we had a system of equations. Number of adult tickets plus number of children's tickets equal 210 tickets plus $8 times the number of adult tickets plus $4 times the number of children's tickets equaled 1,440. And we solved that system of equations using graphs, and we solved that system of equations using substitution. Now we're going to solve it using addition or subtraction. You'll remember that the problem is we need to get rid of one of the variables in either of the two equations so that the equation only has one variable in it, and then we could solve for that one variable. And you can see that if that read not a single a, but eight a's, and I subtracted these two equations, I'd have gotten rid of my a's. But it doesn't say eight a's, it says a single a. Ah, but I could multiply both sides of that first equation by eight, and when I did that and simplified, I'd have 8a plus 8c equals 1,680. Now, let's write that second equation, this one right here. Let's write it again and spread it out a little bit. And then let's subtract that first equation, 8a plus 8c, from the second equation. Now, I've got to distribute those negative signs, so it's going to reread minus 8a minus 8c, and on the right side, minus 1,680. And you can see that I've got 8a minus 8a. When I add those, they're going to cancel each other out. And I'm going to have left over minus 4c equals minus 240. Now if I divide both sides of that equation by minus 4, I'll get c equals 60. And hopefully you remember that I now have C, I can get A pretty easily by just substituting that C equals 60 into either one of the two equations. Let's substitute it into that equation. I've got 8A plus 4 times 60 equals 1440, or 8A plus 240 equals 1440, or 8A equals 1200, and A equals 150. My solution is 150 adult tickets and 60 children's tickets. You try this one. Hit the pause button. Try to solve the problem using addition or subtraction. And then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. All right, I got a system of equations. x minus 2y equals 12, and 3x plus 2y equals 28. And I'm, I want to solve this using addition or subtraction. Well, I can see that I've got a negative 2y in the first equation and a positive 2y in the second equation. So if I were to add these two equations, I'd eliminate my y's. Let's do that. When I add these two equations, I end up with 4x equals 40. And when I divide both sides of the equation by 4, I get x equals 10. Now, I just need to substitute that 10 into either one of the equations. Let's use x minus 2y equals 12. I substitute 10 in for x, and I get 10 minus 2y equals 12, or minus 2y equals 2, 
or y equals minus 1. My solution is x equals 10 and y equals minus 1. That's our lesson on solving systems of linear equations using substitution and using addition or subtraction. I hope you learned a lot. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and you'll see worksheets and quizzes there that'll help make sure you understand this concept. Well, I hope you had a good time and I hope we see you again real soon.